Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I welcome you. And if you're returning, welcome back and I thank you and appreciate you. Today's an interesting one. I'm gonna walk through a little community here, a little neighborhood near Chicago, and I'm gonna show you the house of Michael and Anthony Spilatro. So I'm gonna show you the Spilatro house where Michael left that night and never returned. Now, you may or may not know the rest of the history. If you've watched the movie Casino, you do. They were found buried in a cornfield in Indiana. Bodies of both Anthony and Michael Spilatro showed very similar injuries. Uh, the injuries were primarily blunt force injuries. Um, they were about the head, the neck, uh, and the chest, and to some extent, the extremities. There was injury to the neck, but uh, uh, no evidence that there was actually a strangulation. Do you think the bodies were in the grave for what period of time? The bodies had been in the grave for uh, uh, several days, uh, at least a, a week and possibly longer. We're worried about... So let's take a walk through this neighborhood and I'm going to show you where the Spilatro house is or was. Already? Let's go. Okay, let's take a walk through this neighborhood. We're on Wisconsin Avenue and we're at Harvard Street right now. We're gonna walk down toward Maple. It's a quiet little area. There's a park up ahead. You'll see on the left that house. That's the house of Michael and Anthony Spilatro, the Spilatros. That's Michael's house. Right there. Michael left. Didn't know if he was going to come back. Had a feeling he wasn't. And he never returned. Now, the Spilatro brothers were found in a cornfield in Indiana. And I've also showed you and will add uh, their final resting place. But that's the house. That is the Spilatro house, right there. There's a little park right there. And the Spilatro house sits right there. Alrighty guys, that was the Spilatra house right there that I just showed you. That is where Michael left, as I had said, and never returned. Him and Anthony, Tony the Ant, were found buried in a cornfield in Indiana. But right in this little neighborhood, quiet little neighborhood usually, without the sirens, quiet little neighborhood is where the Spilatra house was.
Okay, we're in Queen of the Heaven Cemetery in Chicago. It's a beautiful sunny day out. And I had to show you the final resting place of a mobster you've probably heard of. Notorious, ruthless, Anthony Spilatro, AKA Tony the Ant. Man by the name of Tony Spilatro has attracted the attention of law enforcement officials, some of whom think Spilatro is the most cunning and dangerous member of the crime syndicate. Anthony Spilatro is buried right there. His brother Michael is buried right there. Now, you might recognize the name from Joe Pesci's character, Nicky Santoro, in the movie Casino. Anthony was a ruthless, ruthless gangster. They were found buried in a cornfield in Indiana. They died June 14th, 1986. Tony Spilatro worked his way up in the crime family. He was sent out and he was in charge of the skims of four casinos. The Stardust, the Fremont, the Hacienda, and the Marina. They were managed by Frank Rosenthal. Now Spilatro finally ran afoul of the organized crime units. And they, went, they were after him. He was getting heat from back at home in Chicago. He started uh, the hole in the wall gang when he was in Vegas, but he was notorious. And they were found, him and his brother. They had left Michael's Oak Park home and they never came back. Now, the freshly turned earth had been noticed by a farmer in Indiana. He thought it was an animal or a poacher. He looked, he called in the police, the authorities, and the bodies were found. Anthony and Michael, on top of each other, buried. Michael's car, was recovered several days later in a motel near O'Hare parking lot in Chicago. But this is the final resting place of Tony the Ant and Michael Spilatro, notorious crime figures. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and subscribe and we'll go on more adventures together. Thanks.